Gunter bots. Hello and welcome to Gunter bots. I'm your host Walter. To my right is Microground Seven, Cutie Cutie, and Trey. This is my son Trey. He is a Rubik's Cube genius, but he's also doing some great projects that we can do with M5 Stack or other programming. But we're going to use M5 Stack. So let's jump in. Are you ready? Hey Trey. You're on Gunter Boss today. What are you doing with that smile on your face? Why are you so excited today? Because we're... Um, um, um. No, wait. Uh, automating. Automating. My hydroponic system. Your hydroponic system? The one behind you. Is it hydroponics? Uh, uh, aquaponics. Why, what makes it aquaponics? You want to talk about it? Because you have fish pooping or scat that feeds the plants and then the plants help feed the fish and it goes back and forth and then the plants grow and you use the light the water pump and an air pump and the air pump so that the fish don't die the water pump is to take the water from the fish to the plant and filter help filter and, right yeah help filter and then this is everything that's involved with that. What water are those pumps. everythings? Grey light, water pump, air pump, fish, plants. All right, cool. What are your problems that you're having? Not problems, but things that you'd like to fix. I have to manually turn on and off the light, water pump, and air pump. We're going to automate those and manually feed the fish and test water, maybe pH, and temperature test. And so we're going to automate all of that today. All right, cool beans. All right, how are we going to automate it? With M5 stack and relays and lights and light sensor, moisture sensors, RGB, um, LED, and humidity sensor temp. Isn't that cool? So you have an environmental sensor. We have all these sensors that we're gonna plug into our M5 stack. We're gonna go do some programming right now. Are you ready? Maybe. Let's rock it. All right, so today we are gonna use the M5 stack, which we're used to, but we're also gonna to have to do something a little different. Because we have so many sensors on this project, as we talked about a minute ago, um, it's his aquaponics project, so he's gotta measure temperature, he's gotta measure uh, humidity, He's got to turn lights on and off. Uh, he's got to turn pumps on and off. Yeah. If we can measure pH, that'll be great too. But either way, you start running out of ports on your M5 stack. So we took advantage and got us the hubs. So that has port A hub and a port B hub. And because of the way the version of the M5 stack we're using, we can only use the port B hub and then we ex or port A hub and then we extended the port B off of that. Anyway, we'll talk through that. But the whole purpose of this today is to show you that we have both port A hub connected and reading temperatures, and then we have port B hub connected to port A, and that's turning relays on and off. This will simulate our pumps. So super, 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 super simple. Now, for those of you watching that wonder what kind of crazy stuff is going on here, well, this is me taking the output of the temperature sensor, which is the environment sensor, which is, comes in Celsius, and then converting it into Fahrenheit. Yes, I know. Fahrenheit's crazy, but we love Celsius, but we're going to have to convert it into Fahrenheit for fun. Now, that also shows you some of the great capabilities with the math. So, we get the output, and we're going to take that output of the temperature sensor, which is the environmental sensor, sensor zero. We're going to multiply that times 1.8. Now, to repeat that, we're going to take the same value, multiply by 1.8, and then we're going to take the output of that, and we're going to add it to 32. And we're just going to round it just to make it a good even number. And as you can see on the screen, if I press play... Boom, 68 degrees, which I guess what you think was cold, but it's also 20 degrees in Celsius. So it's not too bad, not too shabby, not complaining. One of the things you didn't hear that I can't really show is this is turning on position 3 on your PB hub and writing a value of 1. And this is waiting a second, taking the PB hub position of 3 and turning it off. Now that's just like a light on, wait some time, light off. We'll do a lot more of this later. I just wanted to do a quick intro, introduce you to my son Trey and his 
awesome project as well as his Rubik's Cube Genius. And we will put a link in there somewhere if I can figure that out. But anyway, thanks for joining us. Have a great day.